It's Luke Smith, realvacantland.com, where we have fun buying and selling land. Sometimes there's a house on it. I'm kind of laughing because this is an ugly house. There's a house on this one. Um, and it's got utilities. So there's utilities right there. There's a street there. Well, you know, just over my shoulder, I can't point. <laughs> There's a street there. And, uh, yeah, it's got this house. I don't know. Might be better off just bulldozing this one. But uh, maybe you can use it for scrap wood or, you know, make art out of the wood, like reclaimed wood. Or maybe you can bring it back around. Maybe if you got the right charisma, you can uh, work on this thing and turn it into something. Maybe it's a it's an antique house is a better way of looking at it. A little restoration or a lot of restoration, it might be might be choice. So you gotta take a look at this one. Please don't just buy it from the other side of the country and then get mad at me when you go there and see it. So go look at it. Please go look at it. This thing is an ugly house. Uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's an ugly house. Go there, figure it out, see if you really want this thing before you buy it. So if you do, I made the price really low. $1,199. So eleven ninety nine, it's like twelve hundred bucks for a house, right? So let's jump into the website. It's on ruralvacantland.com. It's got my phone number up here, name number and stuff. Luke Smith, if you want to talk to me more about the house, there's uh, the price eleven ninety nine, and uh, there's the APN number. You can look it up. This is, this one is in Union County, Arkansas. It's 0.16 acres and yeah, some more information. So I got some pictures, diagrams of, of the property in the area and stuff. But so we got this uh, interactive map. You can see the house over on the side of the property and it looks like there's a house in, behind it on someone else's property. There's a house next door. There's houses around the area. There's a bunch of trees and it looks like utilities to this, this whole area. It looks like a couple of mobile homes. Um, one house way over there might have a pool or maybe it's a tilapia tank or a you know who knows what that is maybe it used to be a pool it looks green now and um but it's an area that people are living in and using with infrastructure to take advantage of so that's the idea I zoom out some more you're basically on the side of town there's just one more building before it goes out into no man's land so this town has um <clears throat> I believe that's a railroad track. I'm pretty sure there's a railroad track going through town. If that's the railroad track there, then it's going up there. So you're gonna get a railroad track. I don't know if it's still running or not, but it's not too far from the property. There's another building and some woods and stuff before you get to a railroad track. Pretty sure, let's zoom in and see. I might have the railroad and the road mixed up. It doesn't look like it's still there. It looks like an old railroad track that's been tore out. It's not connected anymore. You can see the route and it's all flattened and everything, but it's not. You can see where it used to pull up to this, you know, business operations, but it's not running anymore. There's no more railroad. So I think that's an old, old railroad. And uh, so scratch that. And then there's the road that runs through town. And you um, can see all the power lines and businesses of town and stuff. Um, if we zoom out. I'll show you where this town is. I don't even know the name of the town. Um, Strong? Yeah, so here's Strong High School. They've got a high school and a elementary school on the other side of town. Then further on is the cemetery if you stay there too long. Um, then there's Dollar General. There's a bank, there's some dollar savers, some tasty treats. There's a couple of little stores, grocery stores and schools in town. I don't know what size this is. It should pull up the size of the school to see if it's like 100 kids go to school or 1,000 or what. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, it's got to be a pretty small town though. Just looking at it. So this is in Strong, Arkansas. Okay, so this is down by the Louisiana border. So just south of the property is the Louisiana border. I think it's pretty much the middle of the state. We've got the uh, Mississippi River over here. This is Louisiana. This is Arkansas. So Arkansas, or uh, Little Rock's in the middle of the state, north of here. Um, Shreveport, yeah, there's Shreveport. If you follow this road over, Shreveport's over there. Memphis is going to be further up that way. Shreveport's probably going to be your closest, bigger town. Well, El Dorado, El Dor so okay. El Dorado is just the next town over. So El Dorado, let me move this over. El Dorado is a bigger town. 
I don't know about today's markets, but you used to be able to get flights into El Dorado out of Texas. Texas had flights going into El Dorado, so you could fly in and out of El Dorado through like American Airlines and some other airlines, AirTran or whatever they got bought out by. So there's El Dorado. Um, it's a bigger town, supplies more jobs and stuff, and then here's Strong where the property is. So let's jump out of the maps. Um, this thing just went on the website minutes ago. 15 people already looked at it. Um, so buy it now button. I just got that set up. 1,119 bucks. You can click on that and go for it. Uh, there's more information. There's GPS coordinates to go look at it. There's GPS coordinates to go walk around the property. There's legal description. And it's in a neighborhood. It's called uh, Birds Edition something. This county doesn't have any zoning that I could find. Like rules and regulations at the county level. What you can and can't excuse me, what you can and can't do with the property, but uh, they've got them at the city level. I don't know if this little city has city ordinances. I mean, it's like a town or a village. They may, they may not. I don't know. I know El Dorado, the next town over, does. Um, look at the taxes on this thing. It's great. Get a house, even though it's an old, ugly house. Taxes are $10.46 a year. That's more like, that's the way it should be across the country. That's more reasonable taxes. Um, so here's a gas station that's like, you know, not very far from the property. Here's a high school and uh, you know, some grocery stores, post office, all that kind of stuff I was just pointing out. My kids are walking up, so I've got to go. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith of RuralVacantLand.com bringing you some more easy, cheap land. There's a house on this one, easy, cheap house. See you in the next one. Bye.